Hey, did you know that a 36 inch mower will not fit through a 36 inch gate? In this video, we're gonna measure all types of mowers and deck sizes and see what mowers fit through what size gates so it can help you pick the right mower for your needs. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna ask is, is the number that we see on a mower the width of the mower? And the answer is no. The number that we associate with lawn mowers, 36, 40, 48, 52, 60, 72, 144. That is the blade width from tip to tip. That is how much grass it is cutting, but it is not the full width of your mower. There is some residual bits that hang out a little bit beyond those blades. Sorry, I'm losing my balance here. But if you look right here, a 36 inch mower like this is not 36 inches wide. It is a 36 inch cut, it has two 18 inch blades. For example, the 42 inch is not 42 inches wide, it has two blades that equal 42 inches. They're two 21 inch blades. But how wide is the mower? Next thing we need to do is learn how to measure. We need to measure a couple things. We need to measure your gate, we need to measure the mower. So what you wanna do before you go to a mower shop, before you go shopping, you need to measure your gate. Average gates are gonna be 36 or 48 inches. If you have a 48 inch gate, you have a few more options. But if you have a 36 inch, we have an option for you. Then you take that measurement, you write it down in your notebook, you come on down to a mower shop and we get to measure. And this is how you measure. You lock your tape measure so it doesn't slide back in. You slide it under your mower and you come over here and you line this up with the furthest width portion. Maybe give yourself a quarter or inch or two, okay? And then you walk back around and you fold your flap up and you kind of look down here see how narrow it is. So you can measure with your flap on, you can measure with your flap off. If you plan on putting a mulch kit, you don't have to measure the flap and you get it a lot skinnier. Without the flap, you're looking at about seven, 37, maybe and a half inches. 37 and a half, that's pretty good. But most of you guys are probably gonna wanna keep the flap on. Flap's super helpful for not shooting rocks out and breaking windows and hitting dogs or whatever. <laughs> if you were to measure with the flap, you're looking at about 42 and a half. I mean, this is a little bit flexible. You can kind of cheat that a little bit. But yeah, if you're driving through, you can pull out one of these maneuvers and you can slide on through, about 42. So 48 inch gate, this would go through. A 36 inch gate, it will not go through, even though it's a 36 inch mower. So guys, in short, we learned that a 36 inch mower is actually closer to 38, roughly. It's not gonna fit through a 36 inch gate. So that's something really important. So if you have a lot of 36 inch gates, Toro offers a 32 inch, maybe a 32 inch of some other brand, it's gonna be the right fit for you. We have a video where I take the Toro 32 and I go through gates and I mow backyards and I do all kinds of tests. It's either gonna be up here on the screen or if you wait until the end of the video, it'll pop up as the next suggestion. That machine was fantastic, it was easy to use, I really enjoyed it. And that 32 would easily fit through a 36 inch gate. So if you're doing a lot of 36 inch gates, that might be a great machine to consider. Moving on to the 42 inch. This is for you homeowners out there. How big of a mower can I fit in my backyard? Here is the test. I'm gonna slide this over. I'm gonna lock my tape measure. Oh, excuse me, back. It's easier if you get someone to help you, but this works. Okay, giving myself a half inch, coming around here. If I fold this flap up, I am right at a safe 47 inches. Guys, this is the reason these flaps fold, so you can get them in narrow spots. You know, if you're trying to get something in with the, the flap open, just measure all the way to the end of the flap, right? I'm just teaching you guys that the number on the deck is not the number that it fits through, right? That is your cutting width. So 42 inch in this case actually means 47 inch. And so it can fit through a 48 inch gate. Depends on how your hinge is made. Will it go through a 36 inch gate? Unfortunately, no. But they do make a smaller mower and it's a delightful little charm. It is the 34. And the 34 inch will fit through a 36 inch gate. You do have to move your flap up. You might even have to remove your flap, but it will fit through there. And I have a video that's also gonna be playing at the end of this video that shows you a 34. And we test it on some nasty yards and mow really hard with it. And that little thing is awesome. Fantastic little machine. They made it very heavy duty. I love the time cutter 34 inch. Um, but if you could fit the 42, that's the better option because it is wider, takes less time mowing. This brings me to my next most important point is when you're trying to select a mower for your yard, whether you have a gate or not, you always want to try to pick the mower that's going to be the largest mower possible to fit on your lawn. There's a lot of reasons for that. Here are a couple. One is it's going to save you a lot of time. 
you know, time's valuable. I don't want to spend my whole day mowing. I work all week. I want to hang out with my family on the weekend. So I want to try to get my yard mowed as fast as humanly possible. Here's the second reason why. It's going to save you a lot of money. I know you're going to spend a little bit more money. Every time you buy a deck, it's a little bit bigger. It costs you a little bit more money. But here's the deal. Time is money when it comes to mowers. If I have this mower, it only is going to last so many hours. So let's just say for a nice round mower or number, this mower has lasts a thousand hours. You know, it's a time cutter. It's a homeowner mower. I've seen them go further, right? But that's, that'd be a big number, a thousand hours. That'd be, if it takes you an hour to cut your lawn, that's going to be a thousand cuts. If you do 50 a week, you know, we're going to do some math here. I don't know. That's your 50 years. I don't know. But if it takes you two hours to cut your yard, you're going to cut your life in half. If it takes you three hours to cut your yard, it cuts your life again. The more time it takes you, the less long this mower is going to last you. You're buying this mower as an investment because you want to save money. You don't want to have to hire somebody and pay someone else to cut your grass, right? So every time you use it, you want to use it as little as possible. Hours on the machine are using up the machine, right? It's just like putting miles on a car. The third point is maintenance. The more time I spend out in my yard cutting grass, the more often I have to sharpen my blades, the more often I have to change my oil, the more often I have to change my air filter and all these kind of things. And those things all add up. So if I can get a bigger mower that cuts more grass more quickly, spends less time actually cutting grass, I save money, I save time, I save maintenance. Guys, if this is at all confusing, please go to a dealer, your local dealer, They're, they would love to help you. You know, while we were filming this video, it was so funny and serendipitous. A man named Buster walked up and he actually asked for my help measuring mower decks because he had a 44 inch gate. Some gates don't follow the standards. They were made by some handyman or whatever. And I helped Buster, we found the right mower for him. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to us. We're a real mower shop. We're here in Central Florida. Please like and subscribe this channel. Support our channel. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Come by and see us. I'm at one of the stores every day. We'd love to meet you and be your mower shop. Take it easy.